Everybody, it's Mr. Mash 12 one here, back again, revealing the raven in this video, that's right. Um, so what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to show you this, this effect that I learned. just made it up last night. Just like that. Change the coin into a penny, and you know, just like always, show off your hands and your arm and your empty hand. Uh, and this penny can go out for inspection and everything, it's just a regular penny, I mean. So, I'm going to teach you guys a couple other effects with this trick. Um, first of all, let's see how it works. So, the back of my shirt, right there, focusing, we have a, like, uh, a pin, and it's connected, and it has this elastic that comes all the way down, all the way down, through my sleeve, all the way down, and then it's connected to... I'd suggest zipping up your jacket, but it's connected to this, okay? And there's the coin, but this is the elastic going all the way up my arm, all right? And it's connected like this. That is fishing line right there that connects to the top of your finger, and it should come down to the magnets in your palm. This is just a cloth with some magnet on it, all right? And so I'd suggest zipping up your jacket, uh... Just before you do this trick, it's a good idea, just because uh, it kind of keeps the jacket together when you're doing the trick, because sometimes if the jacket's not together, since it's up here, you know, it'll kind of pull that and kind of reveal that up there. So zip up your jacket, walk up to someone, you got to keep your sleeves down for this one. If you roll up your sleeves, when you snap it back, it's going to hang like that, you're going to have this weird wobbly bobbly thingy. Uh, so to put it on, you're going to need to go and put it on before you come up to form to someone. And then we'll get to the penny later. You're going to need a magnetic coin so you can do some kind of science trick and get some kind of penny or whatever. Magnetic. Or you can uh, buy just one of these which came with the Raven that uh, it just, it can fit stuff in the back of it. That's why they made it halfway like that. Um, really cool. Uh, but so this is magnetic. You can get a 1943 penny. Those are magnetic. Uh, I won't get into the details on that. But So all you have to do is take this and just wave it over the magnetic coin. And it just sticks to the magnet. Just like that. And then make it reappear. You know, you just wipe it right there. And then make it disappear. And then make it reappear on the table. Or you can make it disappear and then reappear. Make it, see, I, I can't do it on this, but I can do it on my hand make it reappear in like a different place. Just be like, you know, like, oh, I'm going to make it disappear right here, and I'm going to make it reappear right here. Something like that, just a little cool effect. It also comes with a really small nickel, like a really tiny nickel, like really, really small. And it fits right inside there. And, uh, you can just go like that, and it uh, looks like the nickel shrank, you know? But I use just a penny, and I'll put this penny underneath here, and then... I'll go over it. I keep on hitting the thing. I'll go over it like that, and then it picks up this, but leaves this because it's not magnetic. And then just like that, you know, you got a penny on the table, and you can just to snap it back. Show this hand. Show your left hand, or if you're left-handed, show your right hand. So I'm right-handed, so I'm showing you my left hand. And then when you're showing the hand, just let go of this, so you can see. I'll show you that slow motion. You see, it's right there. That that's not that's gonna happen. It's gonna pop all the way up your sleeve. All right. So then you just be like, all right, empty. Roll up your sleeves. Go left and right. Boom. You're empty-handed and they're left dumbfounded. Now, what you can also do is uh, you gotta try to pull that out pretty quick. If someone says, "Oh, can you make it reappear?" Well, this is what I like to do. I like to just wave my hand just like this and slowly go over the coin. And then right when it gets to the magnet, it just disappears. And then just do the same thing backwards and then let it go. And, you know, you're empty-handed. Uh, uh, what you can also do is you can take a nickel, put it under this mat, put this here, and just make it disappear. Uh, there's m a lot of effects you can do with this trick. So, guys, just thought I'd reveal this to you. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys later.